Good day and welcome back to another right, DBZ Lurker Metal video. In this video we are going to take a look at how the Infinite Power Borgos does in the Pure Saiyans Super Battle Road stage. So as you guys know and I mention it every time we take on the Super Battle Road stage but the Pure Saiyan Super Battle Road stage is notoriously difficult. It is one of the harder Extreme Super Battle Road stages uh, that there can be in you know, the whole of Dokkan and essentially yes it is quite um, you know, intense like a lot of units can't handle how hard the enemies hit here uh, quite frequently these super attacks will hit for over hundreds and hundreds of thousands uh, as you can see we have items active and we're taking you know 72,000 damage on you know type disadvantage attacks there's just there's a lot of damage uh, so basically you know in terms of the difficulty of the stage, it is notoriously difficult. So I don't want to, whenever we measure or evaluate a unit, we do need to always keep that in mind, uh, that essentially this stage is one of the harder stages. And so I don't just like to measure the unit, um, you know, based on whether they can tank solely in here, but it's also on the flip side of the coin, an incredibly good metric by which to measure a unit because of how difficult it is because you know if units take on the stage and can handle it then generally they can handle most current content in global so it is very good obviously so talking about Borgos and um, we'll just kind of touch on his kit a little bit uh, we had a review on him but he is attack and defense 150 percent he will also gain 100% attack and defense when facing only one enemy, which is obviously pretty good. He launches an additional super attack when facing two or more enemies, which is great in the Super Battle Road and Extreme Super Battle Road. And he has a high chance, which is 50%, of performing a critical hit when your team has another Team Bardock category ally attacking in the same turn. So he can do some really good damage with his crits and his multiple super attacks. He can really perform quite a decent amount of damage. Uh, something I do like to mention is he does obviously have a high chance of stunning, which is 50%. Uh, we're not going to see him stun a single time in this video, and that's just how RNG works. But it is a very good mechanic that you can use to kind of uh, assist you in controlling the um, you know, tide of battle in SBRs and ESBR, basically. So. Yeah, it is essentially uh, something really, really cool and it can really, really help you out. Like it can uh, do a lot of control and it can really give you a lot of good methods of controlling the battle. So we've got him here. Uh, finally, he's linked up. He's going to look pretty good this rotation. Uh, this is probably the best rotation you will see out of him. He's obviously got quite a decent amount of support. He's got the extra 10% crit chance from the Tora. Uh, he's also got the nice link setup from being linked up with Farsha, uh, and just overall he's looking really solid. We will see how he tanks uh, with an item here, because uh, obviously you know, that's a good metric to start with. And him being in the second slot is very good for him, because he will be raising his uh, defense before firing his super attack. So all in all a pretty good kind of start for him as a unit. now. Uh, something I do like to mention, at least you know when it comes to Borgos, uh, that you do need to be aware of is obviously he gains that additional 100% attack and defense when facing one enemy, which is actually something that's very good uh, in the uh, you know, Extreme Suit Battle Road because essentially he will become a lot stronger uh, from the point of view that when you finally eliminate an enemy, he's going to gain additional attack and defense. Now he'll no longer fire additional super attacks, but he'll still be pretty strong overall. All in all, he tanked pretty well with an item there, taking no damage, single digit damage, uh, which is, you know, very solid. Obviously it's difficult to measure how well he would have done against a single enemy, but we will be seeing how he does without an item as well, because I think that's also very important. And yeah, just overall, like, it's very good to see that he did decent damage there. The double supers were quite impactful. We didn't get the stun, which is one of the downsides. Especially when you don't get the stun with a unit that has such a high stun chance, it can almost feel like a bit of a letdown, which is fine because, you know, it is technically a little bit disappointing. But remember, RNG can work 
in your favor or against you. Some, for some of you, Borgos will stun every single time he fires a super attack. For the other people, it may not. You may never see him hit a stun during your run. It is one of those things. Overall, the stunning is very good and it does help out a lot uh, when it comes to these kind of stages. So for me, I think Borgos is pretty solid and I do really, really like uh, how he looks. What we're going to do here is we're going to Princess Snake and then we're going to use another item. Uh, the reason is, is I want to get another turn with Borgos. So we're going to see him here. He's going to have double items. So in theory, he should tank pretty well. Uh, but we will see him take a type disadvantage super attack and that's going to be a pretty good metric. You can see that 28k uh, on a super attack and 228,000 uh, as well. So you can see just how hard the enemies hit here. Of course we get the double super attacks which is fantastic uh, and you can see both of them crit as well although none of them stun. So you can see he does great damage also taking single digits on the follow-up attacks and the follow-up super attack which is type neutral he takes 56k now obviously that's pretty intense um like because 56k is a lot you know we have two items active but that is just how hard this stage hits overall i think borgos is fine i think he's really solid i think he can definitely look better when he gets his stunning i think yeah, as a unit, when you get the stuns with him, it's pretty exceptional. When you don't get the stuns with him, that's where he can be a little bit of a letdown. I think because of his design, because of the additional attack and defense of 100% when facing only one enemy, I think because of all of that stuff, he'll be okay in long form events like the LG EGT, uh, but he's not going to be spectacular in those events. He's not going to, um, you know, do fantastically he's not going to tank incredibly well and you'd rather go for units like Shugesh or Tora because they at least have infinite stacking and I think that's you know pretty good so for me he's solid I definitely think he's a good unit for things like SBR and ESBR with the stunning with the double super attacks the critting I mean he's been doing great damage he's been tanking okay as well especially in the second slot but overall yeah, it's definitely his utility that wins the day and his decent damage output more so than it being, you know, anything else really to do with him. Now, in terms of link set, these guys have a good link set, but they actually don't have as nice a link set as the uh, Ginyu Force units, but they do have some decent links prepared for battle, say in Lineage, Shattering the Limit and Team Bardock. In total, give them another 20% defense, which is pretty solid. Uh, and it's something that you can definitely use. Here, we're going to see him with no item. Uh, so we will see how he does with absolutely no items. If we get the stuns, it's going to be good. 140k, really not too great. Um, but yeah, if we get the stuns, it would be pretty solid. Uh, no stuns, double super attacks, again, both crits, very good. Um, and you can see, like, the damage output is good. 30k afterwards, also decent. You can see that big reduction in damage, over 100,000 reduction. But yeah, it is definitely um, it is definitely more his utility than anything else that you're going to really enjoy using. And when the stunning does come off, it's going to be great. And when it doesn't, it's not going to be so great. But yeah, that's it from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did or a comment. And I'll see you next time. Till then, take care, stay safe, and as always, see you guys in the next one. Bye.